Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Please recognize Chairman Wallace to present the Veteran of the Day. Chairman Wallace, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, it is an incredible honor for me to be here today to introduce the Oklahoma House of Representatives Veteran of the Day. Please help me welcome and honor my good friend and our colleague, Colonel Chris Kennedy. I want to say a few things about this American hero. Chris and I came in the legislature together in 2014, and with God's will, we'll go out together in 2026. Chris and I shared an office, room number 246, for a few years when we first came in the legislature, and we formed a very tight bond. It's been said we're a package deal. When I go, he goes, and vice versa. I can tell you, um, there's no better friend to have here in the legislature. Um, he's had my back on numerous occasions. And um, if you're needing a warrior, Chris is definitely the guy that you need in your foxhole. Colonel Kennedy is not only an American hero, he's an Oklahoma hero. He's an Oklahoma through and through. Chris says his strong Oklahoma foundation has allowed him to defend our country for nearly 20 years. You'll hear more about Chris's military service in the citation when it's read, but I want to fill in a few other details. Chris graduated from o University of Oklahoma with three degrees, a Bachelor in Arts and Letters, Juris Doctor from the OU College of Law, and an MBA. While Chris was at OU, he served as the Vice President and the President of the Student Body, and as the Chair of the Graduate Student Senate his propensity for leadership started very early in his career. Chris was uh, still in college when the ter terrorism attack happened of 9-11, but he knew it would be very shortly before he answered the country's call of duty to serve with us, but he finished his law degree. Then he entered into active duty in the United States Marine Corps on July 2005. Chris was married to his high school sweetheart, Renee Berry. A few months after that, Chris was deployed to Iraq serving as a prosecutor and handling detainee of operations. Chris and Renee, Renee have two children, Kennedy and Shelby. They're raising their children with the same foundation that they grew up on, with faith and love as the center of their lives. Today, Renee works at the Children's Hospital and Chris continues to help fellow veterans at the law firm of Foshi and Yaffe. Chris spent his years in the Marines traveling across the world in the U.S. He was deployed to Iraq three times and once, or excuse me, to Afghanistan three times and once to Iraq. Amongst other hotbeds throughout the world, while serving in the Marine Corps, Chris furthered his education with a master's degree from George Washington University in national security and foreign relations. After a severe knee injury from Afghanistan, Chris left the Marines and came back home as a disabled veteran, he continues to serve in the Oklahoma National Guard, where he was a lieutenant colonel serving as a staff judge advocate. And on December 1st, 2023, he was promoted to the rank of Air Force Colonel. It's an honor to introduce him uh, to you today as Colonel Kennedy. I will tell you there's no better a friend to have. Chris has stuck to me closer than a brother and as American hero. <clears throat> and it's more than an honor to introduce him today as veteran of the day. This time I'd like to recognize his family in the gallery at the South. Members, if you'd recognize his mother, Kelly, who would please stand. His wife, Renee, children, Cannon and Shelby, Sister Brittany and nephew Kyrae. At this time, Mr. Speaker, could I have the clerk read the citation? 
Clerk, please read the citation. Welcome, Kennedy family, to the House. Whereas Colonel Chris Kennedy, a member of the Oklahoma House of Representatives serving House District 91 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, began his military career in the United States Marine Corps as a judge advocate in July of 2005 after obtaining a Juris Doctor from the University of Oklahoma College of Law. And whereas Colonel Chris Kennedy, through his, contribution, through his continuous devotion to learning and professional development has been promoted to many responsibilities and honored positions such as legal assistant attorney, prosecutor, and detainee operations lawyer while in the United States Marine Corps and the Oklahoma Air National Guard. And whereas Colonel Chris Kennedy serves continuously in the Oklahoma Air National Guard in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma as a deputy staff sergeant judge advocate providing legal advice to adjunct general and subordinate commanders and overseeing a high level projects. And whereas in addition to these outstanding achievements, Colonel Chris Kennedy is a recipient of the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, the Air Force Commendation Medal, the Air Force Outstanding Unit Award, the Air Force Organizational Excellence Award, Navy Commendation Medal, Navy Achievement Medal, Army Achievement Medal, Navy Unit Commendation with one bronze star, National Defense Service Medal, Afghanistan Campaign Medal with one bronze star, Iraq Campaign Medal with a bronze star, Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Sea Service Deployment Ribbon, Air Force Longevity Service Award Ribbon with one bronze oak leaf cluster, NATO Non-Article 5 ISAF Ribbon, Oklahoma Distinguished Service Medal, Oklahoma National Guard Recruiting Ribbon, Oklahoma National Guard Service Ribbon, and West Virginia National Guard State Service Ribbon. And whereas Colonel Chris Kennedy on March 29, 2024, who have spent 20 years protecting the freedoms of the United States of America and is an outstanding example of American patriotism, dedication, sacrifice, and allegiance. And whereas the state of Oklahoma holds our veterans and military servicemen in highest esteem and appreciates the sacrifices and contributions they make to preserve our freedoms and way of life. And whereas the Oklahoma House of Representatives takes great pride in honoring Colonel Chris Kennedy as veteran of the day. Now, therefore, pursuant to the motion of Representative Kevin Wallace in the state of Oklahoma extends to Colonel Chris Kennedy sincere accommodations and directs that this citation be presented. Mr. Speaker, may I recognize You're that? recognized, yeah. Colonel. You, you guys know I don't like this stuff. It's appreciated. Um, I only have one thing to say. You need to recognize that group up there. <laughs> 